All right, you guys, we are going to make the assembly art, found object art, final. And what I told you was we are going to get a bunch of random things, assemble them together. GSTS, that's what we used to call my class, glue stuff to stuff. And I randomly have a bunch of stuff that I've found and used. Here's a box of random stuff that I'm not sure what to do with. Let's see. Open it up. And I think I'm, I was actually looking at this box. Let me look inside here. And I was like, what do I do with all this stuff? And so I just put it all in a box. But now I'll just take it all out. I'll make art with it. I got that. I also have my son is really into taking things apart. And so he has a bunch of little toys and things. So I have something like this too. I can use for assemblage art. There's all kinds of random nuts and bolts. And, and this literally my kid just took apart all his monster trucks. Whenever he finds something sitting around the house, he grabs it. So we're gonna take all these random things and we're gonna make some art with it. Do I know what I'm making yet? I do not. Big zip tie, little grinder thing. Um, that's a cool level. I should probably keep that. It's a little tool. A little picture of my grandma. A little screwdriver, a little ball, some nuts and bolts. So, I think for my project, rather than doing a standing, standalone sculpture, I want to add things to a piece of wood. And I have this old piece of wood, and I want to add stuff to this. Now, prior to adding stuff to this, I want to give this a shape or a form. And what should this be? Now, I'm thinking Western. Um, I have a lots of, I have some cow skulls and things like that. So maybe like, I can cut this out into like a shape of like a little cow skull and I can add a bunch of stuff to it and make like a cool cow skull sculpture thing. Oh, look at this. Did I ever tell you guys the story about the scorpion that bit my dog in Mexico? We're in mainland Mexico on a surf trip and my dog went ahead and got this scorpion that bit, or the scorpion went ahead and bit my dog and my dog's foot swelled up and she went off to the side we thought she was gonna die she didn't she just had a big swollen foot and so then the next day we went we found the scorpion and we put it in surfboard resin and here it sits See this? yeah found that in that cool i should hang that up yeah it's kind of crazy when you put the scorpion in the resin it starts to like shoot the venom Pretty creepy, but it came out pretty neat. So there's my little scorpion medallion. Let's start with this and turning this into a, a piece of wood that I want to glue something on. So I think I need an image to work from. So I'm gonna use you guys over here. You'll still be able to see, even if I open up an image of a, There we go. I think I'll do some kind of a cow skull thing. So I'm just looking at an image of a cow skull. I won't do very big horns. I'll just do, I mean, I don't need to look at an image. I have a couple in my house, but it's a basic image. I can only find this pink pen right now, but that's fine because I'm going to cover this thing up fully. So I'm going to say something down the middle, maybe something like this. Okay. And then we'll become. So with this assemblage art slash found object sculpture, you can add stuff to it, right? And that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Um, and just, it's about stuff you found around the house. Am I gonna take that out? Probably. I'm gonna come up here. Something like this. The nice thing about like skulls and 
things are imperfect. They just you can just kind of sketch them really quick and easily. Now I'm not gonna have much room for horns, but guess what? Maybe I can find something to make horns, you know? Like off here. Because that's where that one would go. This one would go here. Or something like that. This is also we're not. This is this. All, none of this we're gonna end up seeing. This is kind of my own little, um, like my reference, you know. Do you have to do this? Obviously not. This is just what I'm doing. I'm showing you. I found this old piece of wood. I found all this random stuff, and so I want to cut or glue this stuff onto here, and make something that looks pretty cool, you know. Let's get a little more that and then this can come down and this will just give me reference on where things are going to come down to the other side of that be kind of like a cow skull type thing, you know? And I'll put some, some make, oh, I have some horns. Maybe I'll add some horns to it after I put a bunch of stuff on here. But before I put a bunch of stuff on here, I feel like I need to cut this out. Let's get my safety glasses and a jigsaw. I'll teach you guys how to use a jigsaw. Not that I expect you guys to cut anything out. You could do this entire thing with um, cardboard and scissors. You know, I just happen to have this. And I also feel like, you know, teaching you guys proper use of some power tools, even if you don't have the ability, the time to use them right now, because you don't have them, you at least get an idea of how it works. And someday in the future, you, uh, maybe you can use them. So this here is a jigsaw. You use a jigsaw when you are wanting to cut squiggly lines. Oh, Loren's coming in. Say hi to my wife, Loren. Hi, babe. Come oh, she, they're gonna go do some food shop and run some errands, so I'm gonna say goodbye to them. And then I'll tell you more about jigsaws. Hi, babe, love you. So what I look good on you. We'll see. Oh, so like you don't actually know? Uh, no, probably. I don't like that. So, this is a jigsaw. It cuts squiggly, ziggly lines. Now, if you need to cut a straight line, you would use probably a buzz saw, a circular saw. I like calling them buzz saws. But I don't want you messing with those. I don't mess with those in class because that's this one right here. All right, see that? This one, these are pretty dangerous saws. You have to be super careful. I just don't mess with them. I'll let you guys, you can do these when you get older by yourself. Because this, it could take your finger off real fast. But the jigsaw, squiggly wiggly, see this? The cool thing about this is you can work around edges and move around. And if someone, if you were to be, you know, not pay attention and cut your finger. Oh, it'll mess you up, but it's not gonna be, this one you have no chance of, this is so fast. But this one, the jigsaw, it'll cut your skin, you'll probably need stitches, it'll be yucky, but you're not gonna lose your finger that quickly. You know what I mean? So I remember this because my father, one of the first power tools he gave me when I was a kid was a jigsaw. And now I realize that's why. And so then I used to cut out, make little skateboards and things like that. Anyway, here's a jigsaw. It, this is what happens. It just kind of uh, just goes up and down. And because it's, it's a, a narrow blade, you're able to move around and make certain shapes. Um, 
So I need safety glasses, always. Safety first. And now this, the equivalent to this for you guys, you got a little jigsaw lesson. You're not using a jigsaw unless you have a parent there with you teaching you how and saying it's okay. But you could do something like this in cardboard or a box. Now this is just my project for the assemblage art found object sculpture. Yours can be anything and we can talk about that at any time. I let someone in. Cool. Um, so let's jigsaw this piece out here. Get this out of the way. Alright, got a jig. La la la. Got my safety glasses on. You could use clamps for safety if you need to. You probably should. Let me get a couple clamps ready. And I'm just doing a rough, basic rough cut because again, this doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna fill it up with a bunch of cool things. Let's put this clamp right here, and this clamp right here. And I'll start, probably just cut this line real quick. You guys ready? Spin it, spin it to win it. The other one on, clamp, you guys know how these work. I believe I showed you that. Again, you guys, this is just, I'm not gonna expect you to be doing exactly what I'm doing, but I'm just teaching you, showing you a little some, some skills. This cut, I have a bench right here. Can you guys on the video see what I'm doing? Let me double check. Yeah, it looks like you can see, and you guys can see okay. Yeah, I have my workbench, so I want to make sure I know where that is. I'm going to make sure I stop. It's a little short of it. I stop there. My bench is there. I'm going to come over here. Chicken wing. Put this one here. Put this one here. Get my cut. Get my cutter. Pop in here. One more. Like that. Pull that piece out. done. Now I just gotta hit this. Now remember hashtag no edit, hashtag no filter. So I gotta keep moving. Keep exciting for you guys. And now this. skull thingy and I feel like this edge is a little bigger I'm gonna cut that so it's a little bit more even Now 
I got this guy. I need to cut that and that out too. If we're doing it, we're doing it. We're in it to win it. Now, how do I cut these holes out and these eye holes? How do I cut those if I can't get my saw in there? Anyone have any ideas how to do that? You guys, you guys, anyone? Viewer? I'll show you what I do. Step over here. You have a drill. Put a battery in it. Grab a drill bit. Big enough drill bit to fit the to fit the I think it's a different one even um, the blade of the jigsaw in. Get it? This way I can put the jigsaw in there. I can make a few cuts. And this one looks like it'll be fine right about here. 7 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, no problem. Pop this out, pop this in, make sure. Boom, put it on high speed, so it would. Let's pop this guy right here. Let's do another one right down here. Now that just looks like holes, right? No biggie, we'll take care of it. So we want it to stop. Excuse me. Put that on drill. I have a clutch on. Now, in hindsight, I would have used my more powerful drill for this. This is kind of weak, but it's all good. I guess it works. And one more. Okay, now, that, that, now watch this, we can use the clamps again, why not, we got them, we can use them, hold that in place, hold this in place, then I can fit this right through here, actually, I'm not gonna use this clamp in my way. And it's gonna be your way of seeing what I'm doing. And I'm gonna move you this way a little bit so everyone can see better. And now I can fit this right in here. See that? And then the bottom one. cool and realizing like art doesn't have to be you know just like or crafts even you don't just be Martha Stewart and like making sock puppets and like that's cool stuff I do that all the time but you could also get good at using your tools and making art with those like you see those big ice sculptors that use chainsaws that's really cool and right now I'm sculpting a little bit with a jigsaw There's the bottom pieces, see that? And now I'm gonna cut out some the eye holes just a little bit. I'm gonna have to change this up a little bit. That one. And I did multiple holes so that I can like restart my angles.
sweet. I'm gonna make that bottom piece to a little more of a point section. Gotta clamp this down. Just a little. Now this one. And then we'll almost be done. Oh, the clamp's in the way. Let's do this clamp. Come on, clamp. There we go. This, ready? Even this one needs to bubble out a little bit more. A little more bubble on this one. Give me a second, you guys. Oops. Went a little rogue on that. But that'll work. Okay, now, let me get this off. Now, put this off to the side. Now, old piece of wood. Sketched a kind of cow skull thing on it. Bunch of things I'm gonna add to it. I'm gonna figure out how to stick those on, where they're gonna go, and then we're gonna have a cow skull. But give me two seconds, check this out. Huh. Maybe I can go look at my archives and see if I can find something. I can either make horns or what if Maybe something like, oh, hold on one sec. These aren't really cow horns. getting there nice so now take the time I'm going to pause this one clean up figure out what I'm gonna do and I'll catch you guys in a second period one you hang out period watching a video peace